Hi, today I'm going to show you how to shave a dog's groin. Yes, they do need shaving. They get really hairy and they shouldn't be combed out. It's a very sensitive area, so you have to you have to clip that. Now, depending on the size of the dog, like really large dogs, um, you couldn't really do what I'm going to be doing now. So with a smaller dog, and if he's able, if he doesn't have a sore back or sore hips, you're just going to lift up the legs. Want to sit? And you're gonna raise them up like this. And that way you got a full view of the groin. And what I do is I use, um, I'm gonna put them down for a second. I use a, a 7F blade because uh, dogs can get clipper burn on the groin very easy. Just don't dig in so hard on the skin. You wanna do light uh, clippings just so you don't cause the skin uh, to get red. So I'm just gonna show you how I do it. Okay, so I lifted the dog up. Namaste. And he, he has a lot of uh, mats here. Now he does have some knots, and I'm going to use the number 10 on if I can't get him out with the, the 7F here. And if they're matted up the tummy, just go right up there. Take it all off. It's not worth brushing it out. Nobody can see under there anyways. Okay, so I am gonna get my other clipper. Okay, I got my number 10. I'm just doing it very, very gently just to get off those knots. There. I'm gonna comb that out in a minute. So I just wanna show you another way as well, which I'm not really quite finished with this dog. Come on, just stand him to the side. Okay, so I'm gonna show you how I finish the groin and how some dogs can be done. If you lift the dog from the side, you just hold their tail so it doesn't get in the way and just hold it gently with their leg. You're gonna lift up their leg to where they're comfortable. You're not gonna stretch it or pull it. If the dog has hip dysplasia, I can't do this, or any, any kind of sore hips. Come here, baby, it's okay, it's okay. Let's have a look. Just lift it up, make them straight. Turn it over there. There, and you can get underneath. All that here, there. And then you can turn them around and do the other side. This way you can get down the leg a little bit. Now I just uh, used the clippers really light and not I didn't dig into the skin. Just gonna do the other side. Now that's comfortable. This is where the dog can actually move. You can you can feel it in his joints. Some can't lift the legs, so don't do it. Just lift them from the other side and also come here, sweetie. You can just turn them backwards like this. And you can go inside without lifting the leg too high, like that. And sometimes you can't even bend the legs at all, so you gotta do your best just to get in there. All right, thanks for watching, bye.